Hi, Chris Wells from Second Swing. We're in Huntington Beach, California today at Cleveland Strixon headquarters. I'm with Zach Oakley, who's a product manager at Cleveland Golf. We're going to talk right now about the new CBX Wedge. I know this is an exciting product for you. Been out for just a little while, and you guys have had some tremendous results. If you would, tell us a little bit, give us the background on this wedge, because it's a really neat story. Yeah, so the CBX is a brand new offering from Cleveland Golf. Uh, we're really excited about it, like you said. Um, this is kind of fitting that, uh, that group of players that needs a little bit more forgiveness in a wedge. Um, you know, you look at, at kind of what's out there right now, and there's blade wedges is primarily what's out there. And, you know, these are made and engineered for tour players. Um, you know, they feature, you know, a 130-gram steel shaft. You know, they're not so forgiving. They're heavy, um, and, and golfers have a hard time hitting them. Um, and so what we decided to do was we designed a golf club that was made for golfers that play cavity back irons. There's a lot of golfers, 84% of the market plays cavity back irons, um, and most players are playing blade wedges. So, um, you know, this, this offering is really made for that golfer. Yeah, and what's interesting is, though, that this is not lacking in technology. It's, it's not, you know, one of the things we had talked about previously is that for the golfer who maybe is afraid of the, the pro style wedge, they might be playing wedges that are matched to their set, but they don't feature the spin technologies that this wedge offers that th these players need. Yeah, there's a lot of different technologies that the CBX has. Um, like you talked about, the Rotex face is, you know, that's the same face we put on our blade wedges. It's got the double laser milling, it's got the tour zip grooves, it's got the CNC uh, milled face. Um, so you're gonna see, you know, the most spin you can get, you know, out of a wedge, which your, you know, set matching wedges aren't gonna have. They don't, they have the same face that is on your four iron, that's on your seven iron. Um, so you're not gonna see, you know, speci specifically out of the rough. Um, another thing that you're going to see out of this wedge is you're going to notice the sole, uh, what we call the dual V sole. And the reason is there's kind of two Vs. You can kind of see there's a front to back V, which is going to help you cut through the turf, similar to what we have with the RTX 3. Um, the other one you're going to see is kind of the uh, you know, heel to toe V. Um, and so with the wider, it gets wider as you get out towards the toe. And that's going to help you on square face shots and bunker play. Um, but as you get, it's a little bit narrower in the heel, and it's actually almost the same width in the heel as the RTX3 is. So if you're hitting some open face shots, you can still open the face, and you're not going to um, add a ton of bounce. Yeah, and that's a great point, because for a sort of maybe a higher handicap cavity back iron player, they're still at some point going to need that versatility around the green to hit a flop shot or Absolutely. play a shot out of a tight line, a bunker, things like that. Absolutely. Um, you know, another thing that we have uh, is obviously there's a, you know, the perimeter cavity back design, um, which is going to help that golfer when he's hitting the ball over the face. Um, another thing that we've done and it's kind of become a staple in Cleveland golf products now is field balancing technology where, you know, specifically with wedges, they generally have a long hosel and that, that hosel brings all that weight to the heel side of the face. Um, but most golfers, especially golfers that need a little bit more forgiveness, are hitting the ball out towards the toe. Uh, and so this is really creating some sort of inconsistency. So we've shortened that hosel, we've drilled a micro cavity inside there to, to move that center of gravity out towards the toe a little bit more. Um, with the CBX, we're actually able to do a little bit more of that because of the, prep, the cavity. You can see here, we've got a little bit more weight out towards the toe. Actually behind this plaque here, we've moved weight even more so towards the toe. Um, and so we're able to do a little bit more and in turn, you actually get a better feeling wedge. Yeah, and I think uh, one of the other things to point out is, as you mentioned, for a wedge that's got a lot of technology, a lot of mass sort of behind here to help players out, when you set the club into the playing position, it's really a clean shape, kind of classic to what Cleveland golfers would expect. Yeah, when you set, set down a blade wedge, the RTX 3 next to the CBX, you almost can't really tell a difference at address. And part of that is we did a, you know, a lot of a lot of time and effort uh, into the shaping uh, and the progressive shaping. So what you're going to see is with your gap wedges, your pitching wedge, we've actually taken, uh, we've taken a lot of the leading game improvement irons out there and scanned them into a computer and kind of molded our own shape based around those. So you're not going to see a big difference, you know, going from your 9-iron or your pitching wedge to a 50 or 52 degree in the CBX. 
Um, and as you get you know, into your higher lofted wedges, they're going to have a little bit more of a traditional profile. Yeah, and for maybe somebody, you know, the, the RTX 3 wedge was offered in a cavity back design that players might have seen mm -hmm. who played cavity back wedges. As an example, this wedge looks even smaller at address. Yeah, so the thing with the, the RTX 3 CB is that that wedge was still kind of uh, modeled after the blade wedge, um, and that is made for tour players. Um, and so if you think about it on a scale of 1 to 10, the RTX 3 being a 1, the Smart Soul being a 10, uh, the RTX 3 CB is probably somewhere in that 2 to 3 range. Mm -hmm. um, with the CBX, you're actually kind of getting all the way over to that middle ground, and you're probably at about a 5. In terms of the forgiveness. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And the other thing we just want to mention, because for players who have played Cleveland Wedges, who are loyal to Cleveland Wedges, the one thing that's a little bit different here is that you won't see the dot system that is in, but these are typically mid-bounce wedges, correct? Yeah, so these are, these are all mid-bounce wedges, um, and the thought behind that is that there's a lot of golfers out there that, that get kind of bogged down and get confused by, by bounce and, you know, what different grinds are and whatnot. Um, and so for this type of player, the guy that's, that's you know, looking for a little more forgiveness, um, you know, or specifically if you're looking at something in a gap wedge or a pitching wedge, uh, you know, you're just looking for, you know, simplified scoring tools, and this is what this is. Yeah, and the one other component that kind of finishes it off is, you know, a little bit lighter shaft, 115 grams in this shaft, as opposed to, like you mentioned, a lot of wedge shafts in that 130 range. Yeah, so there's a lot of golfers out there that play the cavity back irons, and those shafts are usually in that, 90, 95 gram range, 100 gram range, but then they jump all the way to 130 gram shaft in their wedges, and that doesn't make a lot of sense. Your swing weights are going to get thrown up with the wedge. It just makes it harder to hit. So we teamed up with uh, True Temper, and we've got Dynamic Gold 115 wedge shaft in the CBX, um, and this is just going to help golfers transition a little bit easier from their, wet, from their irons to their wedges. Zach, we appreciate it. Thanks, Chris.